Hey YouTube, it's Loyo or Lo. Everybody calls me Lo. If you are subscribed, thank you. If you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Hey you guys, um, I took a break, a long, long, much needed break. <laughs> Um, I got out some routine videos and stuff like that, and I feel like it's sort of time for a life update. Um, and then two, I didn't want to just come back to my channel where I was dressing everything that's going on. So yeah, let's get so, into the video. If you do follow me on social media, um, the most recent thing that happened in my life was organizing Enough Is Enough Unity Rally between Southern and LSU. Um, I put a flyer up here um the event went so well y'all it truly grew into something that i really couldn't even imagine like i couldn't have imagined it going better than it went um and it's crazy because the event started off like as an idea in my head after the drew dollar tweet went viral <laughs> sky jackson tweeted it if you don't know what i'm talking about just just type in drew dollar lsu I promise it'll come up. You know, that went viral. And then this whole debate between LSU and Southern students, LA, Black LSU and Black Southern students started. Um, and this debate happens a lot, and I'm just tired of seeing it. <laughs> I'm just tired of seeing it. So that's where the idea for Enough is Enough Rally for Unity came from. Now, the event happened, I was really, really happy. And then the next day, the news outlets, you know, posted everything and like my mentions were going crazy and I was at work. So I was like, what, what is, what is going on? You know, the news outlets credited the event to LSU athletics and for the life of me, like, you know, at first I was like, eh, but then I saw a clip. I'm not going to say what clip it was. And I actually read like LSU athletics leads enough is enough unity rally and let me backtrack a little bit i didn't even um like talk to athletics like personally talk to athletics um athletics got win of the event through just purely like promotion um internal emails and stuff like that so i had never physically talked to anybody you know so um i wasn't really like that upset when they tweeted their original tweet which i'll put up here if i could still find it but it it just said you know um 5 30 free speech alley um black lives matter picture and i actually had a friend text me a screenshot of the picture like hey i think that something else is happening in free speech alley and I was just like, you know, what is it? Like, send, well, I had to ask him to send me a picture. So then, you know, he sent me a picture. And I was like, LOL, like, this is my event. Because I had made, because I had made, a, I actually made a graphic for the event. So I just assumed, like, once I got wind that Athletics was coming, that they reposted the flyer for the event. But no, like, they made their own tweet. So that was a problem for a lot of people because, um, you know, a lot of people showed up thinking it was a protest and it really was a rally for unity between Southern and LSU. So that was just like one of the things that happened. Um, I personally feel like news companies, organizations, any entity that can have a mass message spread needs to do a better job at understanding the events that they cover. And the messaging that they put out and making sure that it's right because I mean I come from the manship school so you know I've had to learn all of these things so to see it just being done so wrong by professionals is just crazy to me but I mean that's not just with the local news stations that's with the national news organization so yeah that's that so that was one thing and then um like LSU athletics um the 
the strategic communication um leader in L LSU athletics actually ended up reaching out to me personally to share the video that they posted um if I can add the video I'll probably add it now It's a difference between being not racist and anti-racist. We all need to be invested in each other's fight for freedom. You set a standard here on LSU's campus that hate speech, injustice, wrongdoing, hatefulness, etc. will not be allowed on your campus. So when we say Black Lives Matter, we're not saying that y'all don't matter. We're not saying that Native Americans don't matter, but this is our cry for help. So if we want to bridge the gap between blacks on campus, take off your jersey and start where it matters. Get involved in student government, come to NAACP meetings, come to different events on campus. Tell us your perspective, your stories, because as regular students, we don't know the battles and the things that y'all face. Don't just make the impact where you feel comfortable, make the impact where you don't feel comfortable. So, wherever you are, whether you're an engineer, whether you're a student, whether you're a teacher, doctor, make the impact where you are. Because we're going to see this change happen right here. And if this change happens here, then it can happen in the next place. In the next place. Y'all, like, I've just been really, really busy. Um, The week before that, there was another protest. I'll add some footage from there. Help me. This week there's going to be a Juneteenth celebration. I'm really excited about that. So y'all, I've just been really, really focused on one, making money because I've just started two jobs. Um, about to have a third if everything goes right. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then I'm also, I know that right now is not the time to be silent, to be worried about just worried about the wrong things you know so i've really just been applying myself um i made a series of graphics um the series is about black women their favorite moments as black women um and it's just a portrait series that i just decided to make because honestly for one i really wasn't really doing much graphic design work at the time so I needed something to occupy my mind. And then two, it was just so, so much going on to where I need, I needed positivity in my life. So yeah, that's where that idea came from. And it's just like, you know, I've been really trying to occupy my time. And it's amazing what happens in your life whenever you just let God work. Whenever you just be like, you know what, I'm not going to stress over this. Um, I have been wanting to work with athletics for as long as I can remember and this event has opened doors that I didn't even imagine could be open and yeah like it's just it's just amazing like I just have to thank God because I prayed like I had to sit down and pray like about this and it just it just really blew my mind the way that people picked up picked up the um cause and came out and spoke so many people came out and spoke um i loved everybody's words i was so glad that everybody spoke with so much emotion um that's what i feel like that's what it's all about like if you can't speak with each other if you can't you know express yourself then like why are you here so yeah um besides that i also wanted to give you guys an update um i realized that i never gave you guys my year update in alpha kappa alpha like I don't know how I because I know I did the vlog and then it was like I just 
I just forgot to do a year update. Y'all, well, now I'm over a year, but still. Um, it has been, it has been a lot. Um, when people tell you, you don't know until you're in, you truly don't know. Yes, please listen to all the videos that say, you know, be discreet. All the videos that say, watch what you wear. All the videos that say, you know, watch how you ask people. Watch how you express interest. All of those things very much so matter. So please listen to those things. Um, but as far as like my personal experience, um, it's been great. Like I got to experience homecoming as an alum and well, I'm a current grad student too, but as an alum and as a Greek, that was crazy. I went to multiple, um, homecomings, I went to Southern's homecoming. Um, yeah. And then it's just, you know, seeing older sorors, like I have people stop me if I'm wearing Perry, like, hey, so like, it's just been crazy how um, things have went up, things have went down, things have come back up. Um, but overall, like, I've really enjoyed my time. Um, my favorite moment so far, what I mean, it would have to be, um, I think my favorite moment so far was when we crossed. When we crossed, yes, like I was in tears. <laughs> I was in tears. If you are a soror, you know, you know what moment I'm talking about because everybody, y'all, this is a makeup brush. Um, everybody just starts crying. Um, so yeah, that was um, yeah, that has to be my favorite moment. Like <laughs> I, y'all, y'all. Okay, moving on. So yeah, that is an update on AKA. Um, my there's definitely there's definitely times where you're gonna be frustrated. There's definitely times where you're gonna feel like things could have been handled better. Um, times where you like for me personally, I'm only a year old, so like there are a lot of older sorors who have been in for years and like you know with seniority comes like the idea of like oh like this is how it's supposed to be done and that's that um so yeah like it's just interesting it's interesting seeing women work together um and it's just amazing like it's amazing what it's amazing what actually happens behind doors it really is like it's a lot of hard work that goes into it um and seeing it for myself finally um it just it just makes me have a whole nother level of appreciation especially for my older sores because like they have families they have jobs and they're still dedicating so much time to this organization so yeah that's <laughs> that's my update on alpha kappa alpha yeah you know if you guys have any questions or need any advice or like just have like the I know there are weird questions that popped into my head um that I asked my mentor so you know you can shoot me a DM um I am I have graduated so I have no impact at LSU I will say that just for anybody that's worrying or has any questions you know there's that and yeah so that is my update on um, you guys and I know that everything is really, really heavy right now, but just try, try, <laughs> try to find something positive to wrap your mind around. Um, get involved. This is not the time to do nothing. Um, I just watched the latest Transformation Church video and it was really, really good. Like if you need any motivation, um, watch that video and it talks about it talks about how, you know, basically how activism is a part of Christianity. So, yeah, you should really, really, really check that out. And yeah, I don't want to make this video too long. My next video will be a funner video. Um, but I just couldn't come back to YouTube with a hair tutorial or a makeup tutorial or I don't know. I couldn't come back without having to sit down and telling you guys what's been going on um, and just addressing what's going on in the world because 
it's truly impacting everybody. It's impacting me. I know 2020 for me has been really eye-opening, has been really impactful in my life. Um, yeah. And I'm sorry, but I had to bring, like, Kobe passing. I feel like Kobe passing really made me, really made me feel like, you know, I really need to work harder and I really need to fulfill my purpose here on earth because you never know when your time is. So, yeah. Um, with that being said, y'all, like, be blessed. Um, if you have to, take a break. Take a deep breath. Relax. Um, figure out ways that work for you to get involved. And yeah, y'all, like, that's really all I have to say. Um, I'm glad to be back making videos. Wow, I'm really glad to be back making videos. Yeah. There'll be a vlog this week, too. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I know I said it in the intro, but I'm going to say it again in the outro. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.